Hey everyone, this is Charles and I want to welcome you back to the channel as we continue our focus on CCNP enterprise topics for the entire month of June. In this video, we're going to look at one of those topics from the perspective of Inarsi studies, that being BGP summarization. A fairly in-depth knowledge of BGP is required for Inarsi. So here we're going to look at how we can summarize, or in other words, aggregate our BGP advertised networks. This lets us create a smaller BGP table using a summary address to represent a range of networks with a single prefix. Let's jump in and take a look. First, let's look at our topology. We have router one in autonomous system 65100, and we have routers two and three in autonomous system 65200. You can see that on router three, we have four networks in place, and all of these prefixes are being advertised out. These are represented with loopback addresses. We have networks 10.10.0.0 slash 24, through 10.10.3.0 slash 24. Routers two and three are connected over the 3.1.1.0 slash 24 network. All of these within the AS65200. R1 and R2 are connected over the 20.1.1.0 slash 24 network. R2 in this case is our autonomous system edge router sitting at the edge of AS65200. This particular router, R2, is going to aggregate all of our 10.10 .10 networks into a summary over to AS65100. Let's first connect to R3 and check out our current configuration in place. Let's say show IP interface brief. And here we can see all of our designated interfaces. You can see our four loopback addresses, each one of those assigned to a 10.10 .10 network. We have loopback zero also assigned as 3.3.3.3. But these are the four networks, these 10.10 .10 networks that we want to advertise over BGP. So let's go under global configuration mode and let's say router BGP and we are using 65200. And let's say network 10.10.0.0. Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero mask. We'll do the same thing for our other three loopback networks: ten dot ten dot one dot zero, ten dot ten dot two dot zero, and ten dot ten dot three dot zero. Let's end this, and let's say show IP BGP, and we see our prefixes that we're gonna be advertising here, so that looks good. Let's go to R2 now, and from here, let's also say, now remember this is our edge router on Autonomous System 65200, so let's look at our BGP table, show IP BGP. And we do see all four of those prefixes listed here. We see the next top address, of course, being that of router three, so that looks good. So now let's aggregate our routes or let's summarize our routes and let's advertise these to our neighboring autonomous system, which is 65100 where router one is. Now, in order to do that, we need to know how to calculate the correct route summary address. There are certain calculators online that will do this for you, but it's still important that you understand exactly how this works. First, we want to convert each of our network addresses to a binary value. If we take all of our 10.10 .10 networks and convert those to binary, we get the following values. What we want to look at are the common bits. In other words, how many bits do these network addresses have in common that are exactly the same? In this case, we have 22 bits in common. The first 16 bits plus an additional six bits, which totals 22 bits. That means our network addresses will share the first 16 bits, which would be 10.10.0.0 with a slash 22 mask. So in other words, 10.10.0.0 with a mask of 255.255.252.0. So this is a prefix summarization of all four networks on R3. So that's what we want to use as we aggregate our routes. So let's go back on R2 where we're at. And let's go under global configuration mode, router BGP, 65200. And the keyword we want to use is aggregate dash address. 
followed by the summary address that we've calculated, which is 10.10.0.0 with a mask of 255.255.252.0. So let's hit enter there. Let's end and let's say show IP BGP. And now we also see our aggregate address being advertised just as we would expect here. Let's go now into router one and verify the local BGP table in autonomous system 65100. Let's say show IP BGP. And notice we do see our aggregated address, our BGP summarization address, but we also see our four original slash 24 networks here as well. So in order to suppress these, let's go back to our edge router, which is router two. We'll clear off a little bit of space here and let's go back under router BGP 65200. And let's use a variation of our aggregate command. This time let's say aggregate dash address 10.10.0.0. Same subnet mask 255.255.252.0. But at the end, let's also append the keyword summary hyphen only. So this is going to only advertise our aggregate address. We won't see those slash 24 networks any longer on router one. So let's break out of here. Let's say show IP BGP. Notice on router two, we do still see our slash 24 networks all four of those, along with our aggregate network. If we go back to router one, and let's again say show IP BGP, and now this time we only see our BGP summarization, our aggregate address, 10.10.0.0 slash 22. We see the next hop is of course router two. Let's also say show IP BGP, 10.10.0.0 slash 22. And this is going to give us just a little bit more detailed information. We can see here that the aggregator of this route is router 2. That's 2.2.2.2. .2 we see that here. It's been aggregated in autonomous system 65200 by router 2. And we also see again that router ID 2.2.2.2. .2 .2 .2. We want to point out also the atomic aggregate that we see here in this output. This attribute is listed. This is one of our well-known discretionary attributes. So this is informing R1 or any other BGP peers that we're using a less specific route to a destination. So in other words, it lets this know that we're using an aggregated route. So this essentially alerts BGP routers that this actual route technically does not exist, that it's a generated route representing a contiguous group of addresses. So that's a look at BGP summarization through an aggregate address.